In this presentation we will assume that you have already viewed the presentations on even and odd functions. Here I'm going to develop some further properties of such functions. Let's start by reminding ourselves what we mean by even and odd. An even function is one which is symmetric about the y or the vertical axis. It satisfies the condition that f of negative x is equal to f of x. On the other hand, an odd function has rotational symmetry by 180 degrees about the origin. It satisfies the condition that f of negative x is equal to minus f of x. I'd like to prove some results that are satisfied by combinations of odd and even functions. Let's start with a sum. I claim that a sum of even functions is also even. Here's the proof. Let f and g be even functions. Let h be f plus g. Then we could look at h of negative x, which is f of negative x plus g of negative x. But f and g are even, so that reduces to f of x plus g of x, which is the same as h of x. As a result, we have proved that h of negative x is the same as h of x, and so h is even. The sum of two even functions is even. Here's a little exercise for you. Assuming that f and g are still even, show that the difference is also even. I want to now move on though to the product. If f and g are even, then I claim that f times g is also even. Here's the proof. Take h of x to be f times g, then h of negative x is f of negative x times g of negative x, which is the same as f of x times g of x, because f and g are both even, and that's the same as h of x. We prove that h of negative x is the same as h of x, and therefore f times g is also an even function. Here's another little exercise for you. Assuming still that f and g are even, show that f divided by g is also even. It works in the same way. I now want to move away from even functions and look at combinations of odd functions. Let's take f and g to be both odd. Let's look at the sum h of x equals f of x plus g of x. I claim that is also odd. The proof works just as it did for even functions. We look at h of negative x. That's f of negative x plus g of negative x, which is negative f of x take away g of x which is the same as minus f of x plus g of x in brackets, which is minus h of x. We prove that h of negative x is minus h of x, so we have therefore proved that h is odd. Once again, you can do an exercise you like and try the difference. It should also come out to be odd. Let's now move on to the product still assuming f and g are odd. Let's take h of x to be f of x times g of x and let's look at h of negative x. That's f of negative x times g of negative x which is minus f of x times minus g of x. 
Ah, yeah, something different has happened. Negative times negative is positive. We get f of x, g of x again, which is h of x. This h of x is even. So a product of odd times odd is even. This is a very important result and we will use it when we're doing integration in Fourier series. You could now show, if you like, that the quotient f of x over g of x is also even. Let's move on again. Let's now let f of x be even and g of x odd. We can make the sum h of x is f plus g so h of negative x is f of negative x plus g of negative x but f of x is even so that's f but g is odd so that's minus g notice that is not equal to h of x and it's also not equal to minus h of x when f and g are one of each the sum is neither h of x is neither even nor odd the same result would be true if we took the difference instead of the sum on the other hand if we take the product or the quotient of functions which are odd and even we do still get one of those properties let's look at the product if h of x is f times g where f is even and g is odd then h of negative x is the same as f of negative x g of negative x f is even so that's f of x and g is odd so that's minus g of x so we end up with minus f of g sorry f of x times g of x which is minus h of x we have discovered that the product of odd times even is odd as an exercise you can show that it also works for the quotient of either odd over even or even over odd they are both odd I want to finish off by showing how useful these properties can be when we're doing certain kinds of integral on the next page I've produced a graph of a piecewise function f of x is defined to be 2 minus x between 0 and 1 but minus 2 minus x between negative 1 and 0 very often when we're studying Fourier series we find ourselves trying to perform integrals such as in this case the integral from negative 1 to 1 of f of x times sine nx dx notice that our f of x is odd it rotates into itself if we rotate it about the origin doing the integral would normally necessitate us breaking it up into two pieces the point is that f has different rules for different parts of the domain it's the integral from negative 1 to 0 using negative 2 minus x sine nx and then we have to add on the integral from 0 to 1 of 2 minus x times sine nx dx this would normally necessitate two separate integration by parts 
However, if we use the property that we've just discovered, that the product of two odd functions is even, we could instead write this integral as twice the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x sine nx dx and that means that we only have to do one integration by parts instead of two. We simply use the rule 2 minus x for the function x because that's the correct rule between 0 and 1. The property that odd function times odd function is an even function has saved us half the work here.